impetus behind the event is, you know, is Peter Frades. Pete played for me at BC. He was a captain um, my first year as the head coach there, actually. So I had been there with Pete as an assistant for three years, and then he was my first captain at BC. And a little over a year ago, March of, uh, what, this is uh, 2012, he was diagnosed with ALS. And he has been unbelievable in the way in which he's attacked this whole thing, you know. And it has taken a pretty significant physical toll on him at this point. Um, but his energy, his enthusiasm for spreading the word about ALS, um, the fight to, to find a cure that he's, is just, it's, it's so inspirational that, you know, I've felt bad that we haven't really done anything or that I haven't done enough really in the, in the last year. We'll have uh, the 3.30 is the game time. You know, we're, we're trying to piggyback, obviously, off of the, the football blue-gold thing. Um, so I hope that a lot of people from the blue-gold game, after that thing's done, come on over. But I think, you know, if they want to get there pregame, you're going to see, you know, both teams, United, Quinnipiac, and, and Notre Dame, um, United in, the, in this fight against ALS. During the course of the game, like I said, there's going to be the auction items and things. They can find out more about this disease. They can find out what an inspirational person Pete is by reading the, the game program that we'll have out there. And, you know, that online auction is going to go, I, I believe, until the following Monday. Um, and there's a lot of really, really, I think, really good items. You know, um, Coach Bray has signed a ball for us. Coach Kelly is, is pitching in on this thing. We've got tickets to future football games, basketball games, both men and women, uh, future hockey games. Coach Jackson has been gracious enough to, to, to involve himself in this as well. So I think there's a lot of really good things, and, and we just want to be able to people to understand how little has been done for this disease. You know, I mean, since Lou Gehrig sort of made this thing famous way back in whatever it was, 1932 or whatever it is, there has been really very little progress or attention for that matter paid to this disease and, and that needs to change. You know.